Hitfilm Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do this very simple whip pan effect. So I started by filming some footage. This is footage of me sneaking in and looking in the drawer and then, oh, there's somebody looking at me, right? And then I filmed the other half of that, which is me standing at the doorway, glasses down on the end of the nose, wagging my finger, and then crossing my arms. And then I also took three in-between pictures. So I took one, two, and three pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whip pan footage one, and I'm going to drop it right here. I don't need the sound, so I'm going to press the Alt key to get rid of that. Okay. Then I'm going to drop in-between picture number one, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to resize that to exactly one frame. Then I'm going to drop picture number two next to that one, and again, resize it to exactly one frame. And then I'm going to drop picture number three next to that, and I'm going to again resize it to one frame. And then I'm going to take my whip pan footage number two and put it next to there. Again, I'm going to get rid of the sound by pressing the Alt key. And now I'm going to use this slider here to... Oh, you make this a little bigger so I can see each of the frames here. So what you have is you have that shot, then one, two, three, and then that shot. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to slice off the very last frame of that shot, okay, right there, and then I'm going to slice off the very first frame of the second shot, right, right there. All right, now that I've done all those things, I'm going to add the special effect. And the effect is going to be the angle blur effect. So I'm going to search for that. I'm going to find that, and then I'm going to drag it into the first sliced off frame that I used. And then I'm going to reset a few things, starting with I'm going to turn it to 90 degrees because the whip pan goes sideways and not up and down. And then I'm going to crank that up as much as I can. Then I'm going to copy and paste it so I have two of them. I'm going to highlight both of them and I'm going to copy them both. I'm going to move forward to my next frame and paste them both in that frame. I'm going to move forward to my next frame and paste them both in that frame. I'm going to move forward to my fourth frame and paste them both in that frame. And then I'm going to move forward to my last single frame and paste them in there. And it's really that simple. So then there's your whip pan. Now all I have to do is add my sound effect, little whoosh, if you want, but it's not actually necessary to do that. Um, but if you want to, you sure can. And then when you're done, you have this. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.